that isn't good. Let me try something. Go ahead and start cranking it. Now I know what it is, do you? If you suspect your vehicle is having a fuel pump issue and it's just cranking, banging on the tank could just get you home, but it's not a permanent solution. You're gonna need a fuel pump. You can get those parts at 1AAuto.com. So let's talk about fuel pumps. The fuel pump itself is an electric motor and sometimes there's a flat spot on the motor or a part that's worn and it's not able to spin. When you hammer on the tank, that vibrates the pump a little bit and may move it just enough to get it going. That's why this works temporarily. Before you start anything, you should always check to see if you're out of gas. Your fuel level sensor or the gauge could be off and you don't even know it. Just putting a gallon of gas in might get you out of a jam. When you go to start your vehicle, when you turn the key on, you should hear a whining type noise coming from the back of the vehicle. And it normally cycles for about two to three seconds. Sometimes it's not that easy to hear. If you use a funnel and you put it in your filler neck, take your gas cap out, turn the key on, you should hear this noise. So if you don't hear that noise, you know there's something going on with the fuel system. You gotta make sure that we don't have any fuel pressure and see what's going on with the power and grounds. Under the hood, you can follow the fuel lines up to where the fuel rail is. Sometimes there's a Schrader valve located on it right here. The proper way to check this would be with a fuel gauge attached, turning the key on and off, and then you're gonna compare the readings to what the vehicle specific fuel pressure should be. And if it's under spec, there's definitely something wrong. If you don't have a fuel pump gauge, you can always take a rag and a screwdriver and just see if there's actually any pressure there. If only a little bit of fuel dribbles out, then you obviously have no pressure. Before we raise the vehicle up, take the tank down to check for power and ground at the fuel pump. It's always a good idea to check the fuses. Make sure there's not a blown fuse or the relay if the relay is not working properly. So go under your hood and find the proper fuse gonna be right here. There's the fuse and we can see that it's good. You can always test it with a test light. Make sure you're getting power there. And then your relay is right here. A good way to check relays is if you have a relay that looks the same, you can take it out, compare the numbers, and you can just switch it. It's the easiest way to test a relay. Then you could try starting up the vehicle and see if that fixed it. At this point, if you didn't have fuel pressure but your relay and your fuse are good, then we gotta check for power and ground at the fuel pump. Most fuel pumps are gonna be in the fuel tank and this is the connector that connects to that fuel tank. You can see there's four wires here. Two of them are gonna go to the level sensor and then two are gonna go to the pump. You can see these are thicker wires those are gonna to be to the pump because the pump's gonna take a lot more load than just the level sensor. The two middle ones are just for the level sensor. So we wanna make sure that we have power and ground on those two. So what we can do is put a test light in between these two. You wanna be careful, you don't wanna ruin the terminals. And then when someone turns the key on for you, you can see if there's power, if it lights up the test light, then you know there's power and ground there. Just gonna take this cover off right here so I don't ruin the terminals. If you have the exact tester, then you can use that. Otherwise, just be careful. So I have one, I'm just gonna touch right here and the other side right here, just like that, making sure I'm not touching any other metal. Go ahead and turn the key on and you can see the light lit up and then it shut off and that's what it should do. You can shut the key off Try turning it on again. Okay, so it's only gonna do one cycle when you first try it. So if you missed it, then you gotta wait a little bit. You could also try cranking the vehicle. Go ahead and try cranking it. See? It lights up when you start cranking it. So we know we're getting power and ground at the fuel pump and we don't have any pressure. So that indicates that the fuel pump is bad. We have to replace the fuel pump at this time. Most fuel pumps are located in the gas tank. Some you have to remove the gas tank to access them and others you have an access door. Before we lower the fuel tank down, we're gonna need to support it with some type of a jack. 
You need to remove the fuel lines and the fuel filler, the electrical connectors, and then the fuel tank straps, and then lower it slowly. When it's finally on the ground, you can disconnect the fuel lines that go to the sending unit. You want to use a brass punch so that you can loosen up the lock ring. You want to use brass so you don't cause any sparks. Take the old fuel pump out, put the new one in with a new seal, put the lock ring back on using the brass punch or the special tool, and then connect the lines and then you're ready to go back up. Raise the gas tank back in position, put the straps on, connect the wire connectors, connect the filler neck, and connect the fuel lines. If hammering on the gas tank is the only way to get your vehicle started, most likely you need one of these, and you can get those at 1AAuto.com. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Fuel pressure and you had your power. You didn't have fuel pressure and your butt, your fuses and relays and your power seemed good. At this point, if you didn't have fuel pressure and your, and your power... Are you ready?